All right, guys, so I want to share with you on this hunt, I am able to harvest my first Rio ever in Kansas. Uh, a little bit of backstory is Gabe Martin and I go ahead and set up that morning out in the edge of a field. We're just sitting waiting for it to break light. We haven't roosted any birds or know if they're here in the area. He just knows that it is a good location where they've roosted in the past. And I'm sitting there just kind of killing time because it's still pretty dark and I'm using my binoculars to look and check some of the trees. And lo and behold, boom, I pick out a bird. So I get Gabe's attention. We go ahead and come up with a plan to go ahead and get over into the woods, get set up. Him and I are kind of spread out from each other a little bit, so we have a little bit different points of views and perspectives. And then uh, we were able to start seeing some birds as it starts getting a little bit light uh, out on a limb. They start sounding off, and then that's where we're going to go ahead and let you guys pick up with this action. Strutters out there.
Hey guys, no one ever likes to see or have a miss happen. And no different than me, I really didn't know what was going on. Uh, one of the things I do know is, is Gabe and I had two different views. Mine was looking up a big opening right along the tree line. His was looking more out into the patch of the field after reviewing footage. But what I was able to see was some gobblers, jakes, and hens working their way to us. So I was just trying to communicate with him, be patient, you know, let's not call, they're coming. And then all of a sudden the gobblers and the jakes started running around in the woods and it got chaotic. Well, at that point I'd mentally switched from saying, I'm going to go ahead and take a jake if the opportunity presents itself to, hey, there's gobblers in this group right here. I'm holding out for a gobbler. And so that kind of got mixed whenever that jake was coming in front of me and Gabe was trying to push to, to have me go ahead and harvest that jake. I was looking and scanning for the gobbler. Well, then I eventually went ahead and, and saw that the jake was out there. I didn't see an immediate gobbler and I thought, hey, go ahead and just take the jake. We'll chase a gobbler later. And I did. I had plenty of time to get a hold on the bird. I felt comfortable, thought I squeezed the trigger and I missed. You know, I do know with the TSS, if you don't have a, a good open pattern at that 20 yards or 20 some and under, you are shooting a very small group, let's say maybe a softball, maybe a little bit bigger, but a uh, very small group. So all I can think is, is I missed, I must have pulled or punched. And, uh, you know, what I'm seeing though, and his view again, still a little bit different. The birds are still right out in front of us. I'm trying to get him to do some calling, to keep the attention off me. And uh, they're out there still strutting, gobbling some, but they're slowly working their way. But hey, we're not out of the game. We can still get in front of these birds and still work them. Got in nice and tight this morning, right off the roost. Had a hen probably 20 yards right in front of us. Um, birds, three, two, two or three gobbling around us. Um, we was right, on, I mean, we were right in tight, I mean tight. Um, they flew down in the field to our right. Um, strutting around, Jake's got to run around. Gobbler's got to run in the, uh, got to run in the Jake's around a little bit and everything. And, uh, oh, we had a Jake come into range and we had a little mishap with uh, a swing and a miss. So, um, we made a move on the birds, had them probably within a couple hundred yards, gobbling good. Um, hens fired up, hens took them away. We just struck them again. They have moved off, so we're gonna make a move on them again and uh, see if we can cut them off. So stick with us and see if we can um, see if we can pull this off. All right, guys. So we've been on these birds all morning, and right now we've located them gobbling out in front of us. And what we're doing is going through this brush, seeing if we can't cut them off and get in front of them. Jake's. See if we can't call them in and 
to get him in range. Stick with us. Or is it? Good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Come on, come on. 
moon. Get that one. What is wrong with your gun? One down in the bottom and reload it completely. We've had our hands full. Oh. So Gabe, Gabe gave you an update there earlier. We uh, we got all these birds off the roost, and um, they flew down out in the field that we had sat in, and happened to be looking up and saw them in the tree and set up. Anyways, he called the jakes in, and uh, and I shot. And I have no idea what happened. Uh, you know, other than you know I missed. Gabe and I have been running and gunning, and we got on these birds, and I don't know if he got it on camera, but I had a shell, wanted it go off, ejected the shell, put it back in, tried to eject a new one in or load a new one. It wouldn't come out of the, out of the system to load, and then dropped it in again, still wouldn't go, jacked it all the way, and Gabe came up with the idea to feed it back up through, did that, boom, dead bird. So. It's been great. Appreciate Gabe sticking with me and stuff, and I got my first Rio. So. Guys, we're in Kansas. Gabe, Martin, and I have put a Rio down. So I just got my first Rio here in Kansas. Gabe, thank you so much, bud. Been Appreciate it. The past two days. And we've had high winds and high temperatures. Today was the first day we got a break. Man, it was... I told you, um, we were talking last evening that... Uh, Chris was talking about seeing birds. I said, dude, and hearing birds, I said, you haven't heard and seen birds like you, we have when I've been out here before when the weather's good. And was it a totally different ball game oh, this oh. morning than what it has? Yeah. Even, I mean, we've seen birds in the we, high winds. Yeah. And with everything that's been going on, we've still been seeing birds, but was not, this morning was what? 
totally different ball oh, game. Oh, yeah, it was night and day. A little breezy in the morning, and then all of a sudden, when we started working these birds, it completely died to nothing. It's it's still nice and cool. It hadn't got hot yet today, and we got in the game. Yes, we did. We had gobblers, uh, long beards that were hammering. We had jakes that were hammering. We had hens that were calling. Now again, that's assuming that they weren't doing it the other days, <laughs> but they might have been, and we just couldn't hear them. I mean, we've been dealing with 20, 30 mile an hour winds and 40 mile an hour gusts. And so, anyways, you know, we um, we stuck it out. I, I had a swing and a miss this morning. We had them come off the roost, and um, I just I don't know. I had to have pulled it, and uh, it was tight, close. I think we said 23 or so yards, 25 yards. And you know, I know I'm shooting a tight pattern with this TSS with the apex, but um, I had to have pulled it. And then um, we kept at it, and we got back on the birds, and they came to, and then they went away, and we moved, and the hens kept taking them away yeah. from us. Yeah. And then we finally got in and worked our way down through. We said, let's just straight ditch our gear and go run and gun, and um, got on seven. Seven, seven jakes. Yeah, seven jakes, and then we couldn't get them to cross a creek, and then as we're watching that creek crossing, I don't know, you probably got it on camera here. Boom, out of my left corner of my eye, I see the jakes coming back up into the area that we very first started. And um, and then that's when the, the craziness then again started. The gun wouldn't go off, ran the shell back in, still won it, ran it again, ejected it, put it in, still won it. And then finally Gabe had a great idea of just slide the slide all the way in, feed from back underneath, and then load it and hammer it again. And, uh, you know, finally at that point, I know there was birds there off to the side behind that tree or around that little tree, but I got locked in on that one that was just behind the limb and let her rip. We got a Jake that we're taking home in the truck and, and a great time, you know, we, we definitely uh, stuck with it and paid off. So.